welcome friends uh, this is yet another session from our python series of case studies actually we will be looking into the spark this, this time we will be doing some epl just as before we will be using the same uh, examples like importing mask mask sheet and uh, student data then we will be saving into postgres and uh, we will be doing, doing some etl on that then what we'll do then we will actually uh, save it back again to the postgres actually we will be doing removing duplicates uh, changing null values then we'll be joining to data frame and then we will be saving to the postgres it is almost same but we are introducing etl jobs i mean it is very interesting but we are using spark that is the difference we are using spark in this and spark is almost uh, or you can say the de facto standard in big data okay just now it is almost like that almost 70 percent jobs running in spark uh, environment and others a uh, lot of lot of other technologies are there and we will be using spark postgresql or for that and you know we'll be using the PySpark for that uh, python for manipulation so this is an inter interesting job please uh, uh, view till the end also make sure that you uh, like comment share uh, subscribe that is important because uh, we'll be having more sessions in this uh, i hope you all enjoyed the previous session and this also is very interesting okay so let's start actually uh, we are using something like uh, jupiter uh, most people will be familiar with that We'll be using Jupyter and uh, Spark for that, and it is almost almost same as above. But earlier we were using Notepad. Now we are using Jupyter notebooks. Okay. Uh, okay. The first thing is we are using we are just importing PySpark SQL and uh, is, is, uh, the Spark uh, Spark session from the PySpark dot SQL. And then what we do is uh, we'll be creating a Spark session. I mean, a session from that using all these all, all these parameters. You see, Spark session. This is Spark session we imported. Spark session dot builder dot master. This is local. I mean, this we are we are actually running this on local uh, system. That is a local laptop, and the app name and the test DB. So the app name is testdb and we are going to do that or create. This is the this is how we'll make a Spark session. Once Spark session session is created, we'll be reading the files just as before using the Spark session. Spark dot read dot csv and the the uh, the path of the earlier csv. Um, I think most of you may be remembering the pandas thing. This is same as that. Only thing is that. We are just reading it from the Spark session. Okay, so once that once we read it, we'll be printing it. Then what we will do is that we'll be reading the mark sheet. Okay, we will be reading the mark sheet here. So the mark sheet is that we'll be reading the header and the scheme. I mean, we are inferring the schema. That means if it is says that if it is a positive integer, I mean it is integer character date like that, you can infer. So we are having a DB URL like before. Maybe it is a bit different from that. We deleted some of the portions. Okay. And here we have gone. Actually, you can just need to give only this set this much. Other things don't even uh, the user user postgres, user interface postgres. These are all creating the property. Uh, for those who don't know, this is actually a map we are creating a map here and so we are creating a db or the db properties map user is there pass password is there url is there driver is there so don't forget this okay url actually we created here the same your db url we are using here and the postgres user is postgres password is whatever it is driver is for the postgres sql dot driver you can give anything i mean you no need of using postgresql you can use mysql you can use cassandra you can use mongodb mongodb anything like that it's up to you 
to decide. Okay, once we actually created the properties, we are using these properties to write to the uh, database table. Yeah, just like before, we will be using the DB URL, table name, and mode is override. Here we are using override mode, properties, DB properties. We are using all these things. Then what we do is we will be actually uh, in this data what happens is we have introduced certain uh, uh, null values so we have to remove all those null values using na.fill uh, you can see this this is this is the data frame earlier we had discussed this is the data frame but from this time it is the spark data frame that is the different difference you can see We are uh, so we are writing this one. Then in the, inside the mark we have created we, we we have introduced some null values. So what we do is because if a student was if a student was absent, we introduce a null value. So what we do is um, we will be replacing those null values with zeros. If your student was absent for absent for the exam, so actually we uh, gave that null values and Inside the ETL process, we will be replacing all the null values with a zero. Okay, that's what happens here. Mark all the Excel DF mark we are doing. So then what we do is we have to create rank. Earlier we had created rank using Excel. Now we are using windowing function. So you have to remember this is people who actually people who are familiar with the Postgres may be understanding what is a window. A window is actually, uh, you can uh, uh, do some manipulations inside a particular group or a particular whatever it is. I mean, you can say that uh, for a department, for a class, for anything. Okay, like that it is. So here what we have given is, we have actually, you want to sort by the mark. So you can see that window dot order order by this is the excel df mask data frame and this is total this is total is actually uh, the field that we will be using to create the rank okay that's what we have given so we are sorting in descent order so that it is up to the first uh, first rank will be coming in the front so it is actually one two three four like that so maximum mark will be getting the first rank. If you have uh, you hundred percent, then maybe you, then you will be getting the first rank like that. Then what we do is uh, we create we okay. What we do is we actually write write those values. Yeah. Okay. Over the our windows, we are creating a dense rank. Why, why we use dense rank? Because usually what happens is, uh, if we create a rank, that means if you have two people, two students having same mark, means there will be except for example the first rank. There is two first rank holders. That means there will not be a second rank holder. That is what is normal ranking happens. So if we are using dense rank, what happens is it will create one, two like that. Even if there is the uh, same mark, then that may for the first will be having uh, the, the the first two students having uh, first rank. The second student will be having again second rank, not the third rank. That is the difference. In the other one, that is if you are using rank, the first two students having rank 1 and the second student will be having rank 3 and here it is rank 2 and rank 3 like that that is the the fourth will be having fourth student will be having rank 3 that's what happened so that is the difference between dense rank and the rank so we will create it over the window that we created here and we will be saving it in the rank field 
next it is the uh, uh, we'll be actually saving all these values to the database and uh, we'll be showing this is actually all the show means show what our data it is in the excel i mean what uh, the data file it is very interesting i mean it may be uh, quite different for you at first but very interesting okay because we are actually doing something like uh, fast and easy session that's why we are going very fast otherwise there is a lot of lot of things to explain even from installing far jupiter like that uh, currently we are actually going in a different direction will be if you have any doubts in installing how to install jupyter notebooks how to install spark you can ask me okay or give comments i will answer you okay next what we do is we will be saving all this data that is what we created here uh, okay we save that and then we show that then we actually reading the postgres that is uh, earlier we created the students one here students one we wrote we are reading from that again it's actually a, 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 just an exercise just to show you how to uh, load data okay this is how we will be loading data we will be giving all these details so i will just introduce you to the parameters the spark read format earlier what we are doing was uh, spark dot uh, what is that data frame dot write dot jdbc this is what what we are using earlier now what we will be using is spark dot read dot format actually we are reading from spark that's why yeah, spark, yeah, format is jdbc options url is db url that we were earlier database is postgres db table is students one earlier we gave students now we gave students give students one user postgres password is something driver is something and we are giving the last as method load dot load okay these are these are the things to remember then what we do we'll actually uh, we'll drop duplicates because as i told you i have introduced our duplicates and null values and now what we do is we'll uh, uh, drop null values i don't know we drop the duplicates and uh, fill the null values with zero values so that the uh, if there is any because in the case of student what happens is one student's parent didn't give the phone number so the phone number is not there so we have to give some value there so we give the zeros then that's what happening and the next one uh, you can actually see this what what is happening next one what we do is uh, we will be actually joining two uh, data frames okay earlier you can this can be done either in postgres or in uh, spark we are actually joining it inside the spark because uh, both of them i mean uh, spark and postgres has its own advantages spark is actually yeah, multi, multi node and actually it is parallel processing it can parallelize everything so it will be a bit faster in the case of large data here we are using single node so we don't have any scope for that we are just using small example for this okay so here uh, we remove duplicates we fill it with uh, zero values then what we do then we uh, join to data frame this can be this is actually joining dbdt student dbd uh, dbdf student with the excel df mark on column which is the column that we are using to join on column is roll number how we are joining we are using left join for that see we are using left join between the excel df mark and db df student you see we are using and we are joining using roll number then we are writing again uh, we are writing same again back to postgres see how we are writing we are using uh, the data frame to we, we actually 
now actually this data frame that is dbdf student will be having the join data that is the mark mark list and the um, student name both is joined and we will be writing it to another table called student mark and it is in the override mode properties of db db is the same earlier that we created so as you can see we are actually using three table one is writing one is the one is writing uh, student data i mean student data that is to the students one table in the override mode everything is override mode and again we are writing mark sheet into the mark sheet table again that is in the override mode then what we do we are reading from the students table students table db table is there so this is the table which from which we are reading this is the database uh, which we are using this is the url as i discussed earlier so in from this here what we do is again we are uh, actually reading i mean uh, actually writing from writing to the student mark table this is the table name student mark in the override mode we are doing that now last we are actually showing that everything every every show means we are actually showing the data here you can see what is happening this is the mark sheet that we are having okay Rank one, two, three, four, five, six. We created here. We can see we gave the null value and we replaced the null value with zero. This is the null value. This was this was null value and we replaced with zero. And again we come here. Here it is null value. Here it is null value that also has been replaced by zero. See here it is null value we replaced by zero, and here this is the another zero. These are the these were the two null values here. We replaced that with that with zero, and we actually uh, created that is if you can see this is having one eighty seven mark is having rank one. Okay, one eighty six mark is having rank two. One seventy nine mark is having rank four. And uh, what is that? One eighty two mark is having rank three. One seventy nine mark is having rank four. One sixty one mark is having rank rank five. And this one, as I told you, one student's parent didn't give the phone number, and uh, actually he didn't attend the mark, mark uh, the um, math, math math mathematics exam. That is what have decreased the total. Otherwise, he was a very bright student. See what happened. He is in the sixth place. Okay, uh, these are the things that we will be like, discuss, we discussed. I hope you enjoyed. If there is any uh, anything you would like to explain more on this, please inform me, comment me. We will be giving all the details in the description as well. uh please again please like comment share and subscribe these are very important thank you